Good morning. We will pay attention to cancellation of discount received today. When we pay a creditor and we receive discount, we will record the discount received in the discount received account and indicate that we owe less money to the creditor. If a check that we paid to a creditor is cancelled due to insufficient funds, it means that the discount on that check must also be cancelled. This is done by way of a general journal entry. We will debit the discount received account because discount received is an income that has a credit balance, so we want to decrease this income when we cancel the discount. We will credit the creditor's control account because we now owe the money to the creditors and we have to increase our creditors on the credit side. If we look at the example, we paid 100 Rand in full settlement of 110. The check is dishonored and it's returned by the bank. So when we paid out the check, we recorded it in the cash payments journal 100 Rand in the bank column, 10 Rand discount received, and we reduced the creditors with a total of 110. If the check is cancelled, we may have to cancel it in the cash receipts journal to cancel that original entry. So we will record the 100 Rand in the bank and we will show that it will go to the creditors' control because we owe the money to them again. In the cash payments journal, Discount received is an income. In the cash receipts journal, discount allowed is an expense. So we can't cancel the discount allowed in the cash receipts journal. We have to cancel it in the general journal. So discount received will be debited to indicate that the income decreases. We will credit the creditor in the creditor's ledger and we will credit our creditor's control account with a 10 rand. To, to cancel the discount and show that we owe the money to the creditors. In the creditors ledger, the original entry was made on the debit side when we paid by check. The discount received was also recorded on the debit side. When the check is dishonored, we have to cancel that original entry and show that we owe 100 Rand to the creditor again. Our source document will be the dishonored check. The entry to cancel the discount is done in the journal, so my source document is journal, and we will credit the creditor so that we increase his account. So after the check was dishonored, we must owe the same amount as we owed before we made the payment. In my creditor's control account, when we paid the, the account, we debited the creditor's control account with the bank and the discount received, and we credited discount received with the 10 rand. If the check is cancelled, we will debit discount received to show that we don't have that income anymore and we will credit creditors control to show that we owe the money to the creditors. When the account of a creditor is paid, an uh, entry is recorded in the cash payments journal and the payment and discount received will be recorded in the cash payments journal and posted to the general ledger. If the account is dishonored, an entry must be completed in the cash receipts journal to cancel the original check payment. And for the discount that was received, we have to do an entry in the general journal to cancel the discount because we will not receive the discount anymore.